When installing Oracle Web Center content, the native user interface is enabled by default. With version 11.1.1.8, you have the option to configure Content Server with the 11.1.1.8 Content UI in addition to the native UI. The 11.1.1.8 Content UI provides a search interface at the top of the screen which includes a category filter, a snapshot of the document information, complete content information along with document preview, previous document versions, more document options, a notification bar, as well as sort and view options. This video provides an overview of the components necessary to enable the 11.1.1.8 content UI, the native user interface server configurations, the 11.1.1.8 content UI server configurations, and how to verify the 11.1.1.8 Content UI installation and configuration. As a component of Oracle Fusion Middleware, Web Center Content Server is installed in an Oracle WebLogic Server domain. The WebLogic Server port for Administration Server is typically 7001 and 16200 for Web Center content. In addition, the optional inbound refinery server should be installed. Inbound Refinery provides web viewable renditions of files from the Web Center 11118 content UI and provides thumbnailing functionality. A second installation of both WebLogic Server and Content Server are necessary since the 11.1.1.8 Content UI requires a separate domain. Oracle Application Development Framework is required on this second installation. In this video example, both the native UI and the 11.1.1.8 Content UI reside on a single host. The 11.1.1.8 Content UI could live on a completely separate machine as well. There are several parameters required on the first installation of Content Server. These are added from the General Configuration page. Three components need to be enabled. This can be done from the Content Server's Advanced Component Manager page. Access Control Lists, also known as ACLs for short, can be configured to control individual access to individual content items. This level of security is optional. If you choose to enable this option, you can do so on the General Configuration page. In order to get the content server to communicate with the inbound refinery, you will need to create an outgoing provider. This is done from the Providers page. From the inbound refinery server, you will need to enable PDF export converter component and select the desired primary web viewable rendition. The 11.1.1.8 content UI is built on Oracle's application development framework, also known as ADF. Oracle ADF 11.1.1.6 can be downloaded from Oracle Technology Network OTN. Then installed 
in the second middleware home. The 11118 Content UI artifacts are in a zip file. The zip file is found in the Web Center Content Oracle home directory of the first middleware home in the slash UCM slash distribution slash WCC ADF UI directory. Essentially, you will create a directory called WCC ADF at this location forward slash oracle underscore common slash web center of the second middleware home and then unzip to the WCC ADF directory which is located in the 11118 content UI software. Content Server and the 11118 Content UI need to access the same user directory. Out of the box, the 11118 Content UI requires one Web Center Content Administrator user to function. This administrator user was defined in the CRED username parameter during the deployment process. The 11118 Content UI can be accessed by typing in the URL, typically in the form of the Content UI's host, colon, the Content UI's port, slash, WCC. If you cannot connect to the 11118 Content UI, you can use the Health Script package to verify the installation and configuration and identify any issues. For complete instructions on enabling the 11118 Content UI, please refer to the Installing and Configuring Oracle Web Center Content Guide. Thank you for watching. For more information, please visit oracle.com/webcenter and be sure to join in the conversation.